Like if you think this blonde hair looks good on me, let me know. Oh yeah, dance for me, oh. yeah. Shake it for me, baby, oh. Shake it for me, baby. Oh yeah, dance for your daddy. I wanna see you ginger your body. Oh yeah, change your style. Let me see you, baby. Oh yeah, shake it for me, mommy. I wanna see you ginger your body. I wanna see you dance, oh yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bukumi. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yes, I know I went blonde and I'm loving it. <laughs> so um, I know I've been missing for like a couple of weeks. Not to worry, I'm back. Anyways, in this video, I'm just reviewing um two overall brushes that I got like last year. This video is long overdue, but I just wanted to see how they were old enough to make up and and um and actually i use i use those brushes to recreate to get this look so if you want to see how i got this look with those brushes um i think the first brush is called the this is how the first brush is they're five in one two face brush two face brushes and three eye brushes um i feel like you're gonna get the review of how this brush is held up just keep on watching the video um and it's actually called what's it called yes yeah, so it's called the five piece overall makeup brush sets basically yeah and for the other one I used, um, it's called the Magnifique. It's called the Magnifico brush set, um, and this was actually a Christmas gift from my aunt last year. She knows I love makeup, so she's like, "Okay, so this is how it looks. Yeah, it is huge. Yeah, huge. So it actually comes in nine. I mean, it's the Magnifico Golf Oval Makeup Brushes nine pieces set." So I think with this one, there are actually two face brushes and the rest are actually um, eye brushes. Um, they're actually not so bad and they are, they're actually, um, they have a silver and synthetic air. The, I didn't, I feel like the brushes were not so bad. Like obviously some brushes were good for some things and not, but anyways, if you want to see how I achieve this look with these brushes, keep on watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platform and most importantly subscribe to that channel and if you're feeling this blonde hair like if you think this blonde hair looks good on me let me know like give it a thumbs up if you think it looks good on me if not I'm going to first of go off um, undo my brows um normally I don't know if you guys know I use a dark brown pencil but because I'm blonde you kind of have to use something lighter Obviously not as blonde as my hair, but something lighter. So I'm going to go in with a, not as a, a, a dark brown pencil, but not as dark as what I currently use. So now for my concealer, I'm going to go in for this one. Um, I really don't know if you guys can see it, but this is how it looks. Anyways, I feel like I'm going to try to do it this way or this way. Like this is just the weirdest thing ever. But let's try. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Magnifico um, brush. Actually, you don't go by numbers, so this is the size. I'm just going to go out and blend. Oh, it actually blends so well. Okay, yes, it is good. It blends so well. So, so well, guys. I gotta say. Um, when going with that same brush I used to blend, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this. I want to see how it holds up for concealer. I'm just go ahead and set this, and I'm so happy. I brought Bay is back, and if you don't know Bay, Bay is Sasha Baka. Yes, I finally all of us like ah, I need you. Come on, it's summer. I need my baking to be set. Anyway, so this is, I think this is the brush I'm going to use um, from the five, from the other palette, from the other box, this is just the only one I can use for my brows, for my face, for my eyes, and these two, these are more like flat brushes, so I'm going to try to, but I'm going to try and keep this eye look simple, I hope. So let's just start with that. So I'm going to go in with this brush right now, and... I'm going to use it as my transition color and I'm going with my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm going with this shade here I'm 
going to go in with a soft brown shade but not the same um, brush I'm going to go in with a smaller brush from this I'm going to go in with this brush now and I'm using this dark brown I'm going to use this one this is how it looks can you guys see yes like that's how much fallout it's having like almost everything like see i'm going to use a liquid liner and this liquid liner is for nyc So I've put in some um, mascara on my eyelashes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put some falsies. And the lashes I'm going to be using today are from Kiss. I think they're called Noir. I'm so obsessed with them. They are Bob, they are Bay. <laughs> Anyways, for my lash glue, I'm going to be using the Adele Lash Eyelash Adhesive Grape. It's white. So I know I'm meant to get the black, but I feel like with the white one, it helps me to know okay, where is the lead. So after I could just go ahead and like just top it off with my liner. So let's go ahead and pop some lashes and we'll be right back. And no, actually because I want to try one of these brushes to see how it's gonna hold up with color correcting. Now I hope there's a brush I can use. Oh yeah, I feel like there is. Come on, we can do this with them. It's color correct now. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this brush from the Magnifico um set. And it's kind of, it's a an angle, it's a flat brush. But it's it's fuller than the rest. I'm going to go in on the final foundation. And for this video, I'm going to be using my <laughs> Lancome Tint Eyedoll Foundation. This is because I really wanted to test this brush with uh with an eye in product. I didn't want it to be like oh because it's a drugstore and it's a dietist. I wanted to try it with something good. So if it doesn't work, if it doesn't blend out, we know it's not the makeup. It is the brush or it's me, whichever one. But anyways. Yeah, what if I asked you to marry me? Born for me, Jack, I ride till eternity. We blended the foundation into skin. I'm liking how we blend up. And for this, I feel like I've used this to blend one time, but it was time consuming, maybe because I was rushing. So I dumped it and went for something else. Maybe a beauty blend or a brush, I remember. But I know that this brush, now I remember like. It actually, anyways, it is holding up. Um, it feels it's very full and it actually feels like a foundation brush. I'm just not used to this overall thing, but apart from that, I feel like it blended this eyeshadow well. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it actually held up to blending this foundation, or you feel you feel like a better job can be done? But I feel like it actually did a very good job. Like, you know, guys, looking at it, I feel like it actually did a very better Job. I like and contour. I'm going to go in using this um, color pop in the shade Deep 70 concealer and to just brighten it up I'm going to use this Maybelline Better Stay in the shade 60 Deep to contour I'm going to use, um, use this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade um, Mahogany? Yes, Mahogany. I'm really not showing you how I'm going to contour. I just as I said, focus is more on how these brushes are holding up with the blend. So let me just do the diagram on my face and I'll be right back. Yeah, it's a diagram. I'm going to go in with this brush now. Just to blend out this contour, it's very ash contour. So this is my face now that I've blended everything all out. And basically, it actually held up pretty so well, like so so well. Actually, blend out so well. So, but before I get so carried away, let me go ahead and set 
my concealer and I'm going to use my baby. Yes, she's back. My Sasha bottle cup because it's summer, we don't want any flashback, all blonde, all set, all everything, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and set just to make sure everything's all quite contour. I'm going to use this brush to contour my nose, just a little bit of nose job here. I'm just going to go ahead and put the powder on my face, just bring it back some color and make everything all monotone. And this is literally the fattest brush, and I feel like this is the job it was for because I really don't know what else I can use this brush for. As I'm thinking, like what? Yeah, today I'm gonna to go in with my no filter um sans fil no filter um powder from NYX. I'm gonna go in with this um with this palette right now, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I'm going to use. Can I use this brush? Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Okay. So we're going for something more bronzy. So I'm going for the Hot Sand. Brush that I haven't used. I'm going to go in with this shape, with this brush now, just to highlight my inner tear. There's my cupid's bowl, no, not my my nose and um my cupid's bowl. And I'm basically going to use the same highlighter again. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips right now. So what I'm going to do is, this is a very brown melanin popping like look. Like I'm so loving it. I'm going to take that lip pencil all over my lip. Next, my next lip, um, next lingerie lipstick in beautiful beauty mark. What is wrong with me? So I'm just going to go in with that powder just to make sure everything, just to bring everything back. To set my face, I'm going to go in and use this uh, Maybelline Master Fix Plus. I feel like I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just going to shake it up. So now that my face is dry, this is the finished look. So far, I feel like the brushes held up well. Obviously, I would not say this full nine brushes and the other set like a full complete face, but for the ones I use, I feel like this brush set, those these two face brushes were warm hands down. Then the I really didn't use much of the eye brushes. I just I feel like I used this in nose contour, I really can't remember. But these two brushes, yes, 10 over 10. I feel like it blends well. Then for my for this one right now. Um, I used this beacon when I didn't use one. This is very good for full face, just if you want a regular powder all over your face. This is good. Then for the small ones, I feel like they held up pretty well. They had a, they were taking a lot of products and I was having a lot of fallout. I was really pissed at it. Like it was so bad, but they did like I feel like it's I will give it like a seven over ten, but for the face brush, definitely like an eight or nine over ten. Then what I used to do is to cut what I used to blend my concealer when I found out the trick I found out I yes that okay just don't swipe just that like when you literally do that it actually helps a lot and this is what the brush is called it's called the Magnifico um golf oval makeup brushes and they are synthetic brushes they are synthetic brushes that have um silver handles yes yeah. so let me just go ahead and like Make my hair look cute and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, dance for me. Shake it for me, baby. Shake it for me, baby. Oh, yeah, dance for you.